G'day, g'day, and welcome back. In this episode, we're exploring the limestone coast of South Australia. We conquer the Beachport to Row four-wheel drive track with the Explore Life crew and photograph some of the most insane spots I guarantee you've never heard of. So let's get stuck in. Just steaming into Beachport, just crossed the border, drove down from the Grampians, about a three and a half hour drive, I'm pretty sure. Grampians was bloody cold. I'm obviously not dressed for the beach right now and I'm sweating, no AC in the Defender because that's broken. <laughs> so uh, I am pretty keen to get some shorts on and uh, head down to this bloody beach. So uh, yeah, let's go check out this goodness. Yahoo! Good spot, but I gotta go pee. Real bad. <laughs> um, so we just got to Beachport in South Australia. First time I've kind of been into South Australia. Well, I came back for a, I came for a footy trip when I was like, I don't know, 20 or something. Obviously didn't explore much other than just having beers in Adelaide. So we just got down to Beachport and met up with a couple of peeps that uh, we've kind of been wanting to meet up with on the road for a little while now. Awesome content creators, even better people. So looking forward to getting down to the beachside camp spot, parking up for the night and having a few tins with the old Explorey Liffey crew. Is that how you spoke, say it? Explorey Liffey? Anyway, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, we'll catch up with those boys um, and girls and yeah, have a few tins and make a bit of a game plan over the next couple of days because I think it's actually going to be a pretty wild couple of days. So yeah, stay tuned, my friends. <laughs> At what point do we tell them that I've got no idea what I'm doing and this is basically like the second time I've been full driving. <laughs> So we just got to camp, well, the spot where we're actually gonna be camping for the night. It is ridiculously sick and looking forward to taking some bangers tonight. I think once the sun gets a little bit lower, throw the drone up, get the camera out, we'll be, uh, we'll be laughing, but yeah. Um, super, super good spot. But what we're gonna do, also introduce the uh, Explore Life guys, because obviously we haven't done that just yet, and you probably have no idea who they are, or maybe you do, who knows. Anyways, uh, yeah. Gonna have a froth first, and then we'll get back to the rest later. Yo. Guys, this is the Explorey Liffey crew. Nah, no, jokes here. <laughs> the Explore Life crew, they screwed up my name first, so <laughs> just getting them back on that one. But yeah, um, they're full drive experts going around Australia, but yeah, introduce yourselves. Yeah, Who are you? What sure. are you doing? <laughs> All right, my name's Jess. Uh, this is my partner, Matt. Yeah. Basically, look, we've um, we're based down in Queensland. We live uh, on the beautiful Gold Coast down at Burley, and uh, Jess and I finally decided it's enough. Um, we both have a passion for travelling, so this year we're full time living out of the 79 and the caravan, and we're uh, we're off. We're off on the big adventure, the lap of Australia. So we're um, only about a month into it, mate. Sick. And uh, how good is this? Oh, mate, it doesn't get much better than this. And yeah, look at the dream rig. Like for me, that's pretty much the goal. So yeah. Looking forward to the next couple of days, and uh, hopefully you don't, guys don't have to pull me out too much. Stuff. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Almost got bogged trying to get into camp, so it could be a very interesting day tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Yo. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yo. The 
sun's just gone down, campfire's cranking outside, and I'm just gonna make some chicken burgers for dinner. Uh, I'm the cooking man in the relationship, and Sam is the washer-upper. So yeah, super basic setup, but they're always super tasty, especially when you're out, uh, out of the camp. Everything always seems to taste better, hey? So just whipping that up now. It's got the old avocado in there, chicken, cheese, pineapple, capsicum, rocket on top, a little bit of peri-peri sauce. Mate, these are going to be delicious by the fire. So um, yeah, I think that's us done for today. We're gonna go chow these, have a couple of froths and call it a day. So yeah, see ya. So we just started the beach run. Uh, we just wanted to come up to this little headland just to check it out. It looks kind of like a little bit more technical and it's kind of like, what's the point? I'm gonna be super off camber, his toe on a caravan. It just doesn't really make sense. So anyway, we're gonna head back and then we are gonna be um, going inland, checking out some inner lakes and then just seeing how we go. A little bit nervous about them carrying that and uh, apparently a few like like overhanging branches and tighter sections and all that kind of thing but I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed. This is probably one of the coolest places I've shot in a long time, to be honest. It's just, we're basically out on like this little spit sort of thing, as you can see at the minute. Reflections across the entire lake. Moody, bloody day. Oh, it is just ridiculously sick. So just trying to get some different angles and try and mix things up a little bit. Um, I kind of think as though it's probably a place that we're going to have to come back to when it's like epic light because it's sick now even in the middle of the day with just moodiness. So imagine with epic light. Oh baby! That was just <sighs> bananas. Honestly, like good light, this place would be very, very hard to top in my opinion. And a very good opinion at that. <laughs> we'll make it to Robe tonight. We may pull up on the beach somewhere, especially if we can get the tinny in this afternoon. Yeah, true, true. That'll I'm be definitely sick. Definitely going to go for a dive somewhere, see if I can't get a cray or something to fish to eat. So. Yep. Let's go have a look. Happy days. exploring all the stuff on the inland we've finally just popped out onto the beach now uh, don't really know where we're going to be honest basically just following the tracks um, the boys have got a little bit of a rough idea um, so at least someone's kind of like in the know but yeah we're just going to cruise up the beach and uh, see how we get, see where we get to but it's bloody beautiful out here sun's out kind of uh, ocean right there not much more you can ask for it's bloody good to be out Probably doesn't look like much at the minute, mate, but she's pretty lumpy. And, um, I don't know, Big Willie's handling it all right, though. Not too far out of shape. Happy days, mate. Never in doubt.
amazing little bay. And now I've got a hot tip from one of the locals as to where we can camp tonight. Uh, apparently a little dip, something like that. So we're just gonna go check that out. Not sure if it'll compare to last night's campsite, but uh, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Yo! <laughs> Mate, what a day, what a day. Oh, bloody good day. Uh, I think this is us for the night. Nice little spot down by the lake, sun going down. Mate, I'm so bloody tired. <laughs> I'm keen for a froth so far with any hey, hey. Oh, let's go. We have just gotten off the track and I'll give you a tip, I feel pretty crusty, but it has been an absolutely epic little trip. We just come into Robe now. Uh, I think we're just gonna grab some coffee and stuff, chill out, and then uh, the other guys, they're heading off. They're on a bit of a uh, tight time frame. So we're gonna uh, chill out and Robe a little bit, um, just enjoy what it has to offer, and yeah, see how we go here, I guess. But um, it's been such a good trip. Absolutely loved it. Also learned so much from, uh, from the Explore Life crew. So very, very grateful to be able to link up with those guys and hang out. So yeah, might be a little bit sad, might shed a tear. Okie dokie, that finishes up a epic, epic few days with these guys. Firstly, thank you so much, the Explore Life crew. I've learned so much in the last couple of days, it's been insane. So thanks for uh, sharing your wisdom. Yeah, well, on both the, the YouTube and the four wheel driving front, it's been epic. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go hunt a few more photos in this area, because I think it's one of these spots that isn't really well known, but I think it could be something pretty incredible. So. Yep, thank you guys. You guys are off on all your adventures. Yeah. If you haven't already, go like, subscribe to these guys. The adventures that they go on is just ridiculous. Makes me super jealous. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't already, go check them out. And uh, we're gonna go get some more action right now. So let's hit let's it. Let's go. ourselves into a bit of a predicament here so just going to get the sandboards out I think the uh, the trip with the Explore Life crew got me a little bit excited and I didn't even walk this bloody sand dune which is dumb as and um, yeah I'm just a little bit worried that I'm a little bit off camber here I pumped up the airbags on the right hand side dropped the ones on the left to flatten me out a little bit but it's still uh, on a bit of an angle and I just can't really go back too far so, uh, yeah, trying to get this up, worst case scenario, maybe bury the spare wheel, but that's, and then it, um, winch off that, but hopefully that's a bit of a last resort because that's gonna suck. <laughs> Just 
want to say. Those airbags honestly are so, so, so clutch. I genuinely, like, I'll be way, way more scared if I didn't have those. So, airbag man, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, easing the pressure a lot and uh, making things so much safer. Holy, I will forever be a customer of yours. <laughs> forever, <laughs> promise. <laughs> So the reason why I'm getting nice and low is because I love the, the lines of these uh, sand dunes here. And what it does, it brings the viewer's eye back into the Defender. So as I'm shooting, I'm thinking about what is the main focus, which is gonna be the Defender, Big Willy, um, and then how can I complement or draw attention to it with things either in the foreground or the background. So I'm using those lines here and then the sand dunes in the background. now. They're probably, sand dunes probably aren't quite high enough, so to be honest, I'm probably gonna Photoshop those a little bit. Um, and it also looks maybe a little bit too simple with just Big Willie sitting there. So I might get Sam, who's on the camera right now, to go for a little bit of a walk down that way. So uh, yeah, you might have to do a little selfie as you're walking down there. But that's, um, yeah, that's what my thought process is now, just for this shot. that wraps up an epic few days down here in South Australia. Definitely happy that we made the journey down here. Massive thanks to the Explore Life crew once again. If you haven't liked and subscribed their channel, please go check them out. Links are gonna be down below. Man, for us, what an insane few days with the four-wheel driving, the photography, some of the most stunning images that I'm super, super happy with myself. And yeah, we have got so much stuff, so much stuff coming up in the next few episodes. So please make sure you liked, you've subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Yo!